still have a chance to stop your doppelganger. That's worth a little sweat, huh? Last one. Almost there. Second anomaly set. No fireworks, so, uh... The gloves work as intended. Satine always does good work. Get the last anomaly, Aiden. Your miserable existence relies on it. One last anomaly and the rift opens. Here we go. Toga, we've got the anomaly. I don't like the way this thing feels. You have to be quick. It won't stay stable for long. Hurry! <laughs> Keep it together, Aiden. Stable. Just great. Toga, we've got the anomaly. I don't like the way this thing feels. You have to be quick. It won't stay stable for long. Hurry! Okay, halfway there. Gotta keep up the pace.
at the location. Looking for the spot now. Be careful. Kolka, it's done. The rift's opening. Yes, I see the light in the sky. We won't have comms while you're in there, so you're on your own. Remember, kill yourself, get the machine, bring it back. Understand? I hear you. I'll... I'll see you soon. Kill yourself. <laughs> right. Here goes. It's never an easy thing, seeing one of you. It's not like looking in the mirror. It's the same, but not the same. Yeah, it just feels wrong, you know? Yeah, it's weird. It's creepy. For what it's worth, and I know it's not much, I am sorry you have to go through this. It's not you. It's the infection. I'm just trying to keep it from spreading by destroying an entire universe. But the thing is, your universe doesn't just stay in your universe. It pokes through reality's weak points. I mean, you've seen things coming through, right? So, there's a nice, clean, non-infected universe over there. And then here's your sick, virus-laden universe. All it takes is one rift, one little incursion, and you've got a patient zero over there. Boom, scratch off the planet. Ah, shit. Even you're infected in this universe. Maybe you'll be the patient zero somewhere else. Yeah, okay, I get that, I do. But Tolga's machine's gonna fix it, make it so nothing comes in or out. You don't have to do this. Would you gamble an entire universe, countless universes, on that hope, no. You deal with the infection by eradicating it. So you just murder everybody in an entire universe just like that? Your Earth has, what, thousands? A few million people left alive tops? A planet without infection has billions. Listen, I know it's awful. I know. But you've seen what the infection does. We can keep it from spreading. 
Look at the big picture. Let go of your diseased reality and save billions like it. This anomaly, we make it unstable and this infected universe is gone. All it takes is a bit of kinetic energy aimed at the right point and a chain reaction will collapse it completely. One hit, one strike, and all those other universes are safer. There has to be another way. Not that I can see. So what are you gonna choose? Hope or certainty? I... I can't believe I'm saying this, but you're right. Now maybe I'll go to hell for this. But it's gotta be worth it if it keeps the virus from spreading. You've been in hell your entire life, Aiden. But this way, you stop that hell from spreading. I wish bizarre folks would talk to us more. This feud is silly. We all want peace.
I can't wait for the tournament. It's been years since the last one. You're siding with the enemy, Pilgrim. Someday the just say what you want. Just come home to roost. Who doesn't need one of those? Snazzy. That could save you in a pinch. PK is going to envy your purchases, that's for sure. Them all. But who's gone? Do you need help? Oh, no, my friend. <clears throat> Thank you. But there's nothing to be done here. But why? Who did you lose? My fish. My precious fish. <laughs> Can you imagine what it's like to keep fish when water is so hard to come by? But <clears throat> they were my friends. My teachers. Welcome to the real world. Clean water is a luxury. Maybe you're better off not wasting water on fish anyway. Uh, I don't blame you for not understanding. You would have to spend some time with fish to understand. My fish, my precious, but... Why would you sacrifice water for fish? <clears throat> but why not? Because water is expensive. It's a rare commodity. Oh, I know that. I had to give away almost all I had. My supplies, a flower, and my father's weapons. But they can't survive without the water, of course. And out there, in the world, who knows how many fish are left? Most water has been polluted. Oh. All the dead fish I've seen floating belly up. Such a sad sight. Why are fish so important to you? <clears throat> Can I ask you a question in return? Why is this weapon so important to you? I need it to protect myself. You know, to survive. Ah, <laughs> you see, it's all so subjective, isn't it? What's necessary, what's not? <coughs> For me, 
Fish are fundamental to existence. Fish teach you everything you need to know about life. So, what did you learn from fish? Oh, how much time do you have? Because they've been teaching me for years. <coughs> they taught me how to listen to others. They're great listeners, you see? And they helped me sleep. <coughs> have you ever seen a sleeping fish? So still, so peaceful. They don't mind being stared at all the time. And aren't bothered when rude people knock on the walls of their tank. Why is that? Patience. Oxygen is important. Almost as important as water itself. Have you ever seen what happens when water lacks oxygen? <clears throat> well, <sighs> I could go on and on. But I guess it's not the same if it's not coming from the fish themselves. And now I'm curious, where are your fish? Unfortunately, like I said, my fish are not with us anymore. They're gone. Well, what happened? Uh, <clears throat> someone ate them. Wait, wait, someone ate your fish? Someone broke into my home and ate all of my fish. Then he drank all the water. The water you sacrificed so much for. Who? Tell me. Want me to go after him? Uh, nah, forget about it. I think I know who it was. I saw discarded fish bones in front of his place. Uh, but um, let's forget about it. What? You don't want revenge? He ate your fish. <sighs> One of the many things fish teach you, as I mentioned, is patience and accepting what fate brings you. Once you watch them for a while, just swimming in their tank, they don't question where they are. They don't complain that the tank is too small. They just are. Wait. Wait, what? So, so, so let me get this straight. You spent everything on the water for your fish, then someone ate your fish and drank that water, and yet you're not angry? Oh, I was angry. But what does anger do for me? It causes nothing but negativity and remorse. <coughs> Maybe one day we'll fish in rivers and oceans again. Fishing, ah, yes. <laughs> Fishing can also teach you a lot about life. You sound like some kind of fish monk. <coughs> I'm poor as a monk now, that is for sure. Farewell, my friend. I'm sorry you can't learn anything from my fish. Looking to trade? Happy to trade. Later.
Supplies running short. Hello, can you hear me? I don't know how much longer. Hello, oh, piece of crap. You're the one. <laughs> I found an old radio. Someone needs help, but the signal's too weak, even on a roof. Okay, savior of the oppressed. Get closer to something that'll boost the signal. Ever hear of an antenna? Thanks, Luan. Try not to fall, okay? Hello, Lance. Can you hear me now? Locked up. Fucking electrical substation. Downtown. There's... chance. At the lowest level. The lowest level of the downtown electrical substation. Right, Lance? Oh, come on. Can you hear me? Infected. Infected are coming. I'm on my way. Hold on. Where are you? They almost got me. Please. But where? I, I can't see anything. I miss my father and his shooting lessons. Ah, yes.
Our gate. Blocked. There must be another entrance. Anyone? Please. Repeat. I need help. Can anyone hear me? I hear you. Like I'm too late by a few years. This recording must have been made years ago. And when the electricity went on, it started playing in a loop. <laughs> Whoa. Drinking, but I've heard that before. I can't believe it. This Chiro guy keeps winning.
it.
Thank you. 